Looks like MG and Darren and the team at Hack5 have been really, really busy. They've introduced some new products recently and some new changes on their website. One of the products that they've introduced recently is the OMG plug. This is a very scary USB, bad USB, if you like. They've also created a website called payloads.hack5.org. Now, before we continue, Hack5 are not paying me to create this video. I've purchased this myself. They have sent me some products in the past, and if you use the links below to purchase their products, I'll get an affiliate fee, but I'm not paid to create these videos. They've also recently introduced the Shark Jack cable, but we won't cover that in this video. They've also created an OMG web flasher, which can flash the OMG plug as well as OMG cables. OMG cables have been around for a while now, these are malicious cables, if you like, that allow you to do all kinds of things. Access point running within this cable, access point running within this USB device. I've interviewed MG previously, and he mentioned how people are asking if they can just cut off the cable. So rather than just doing that, he created this device. So notice what it can do, and this is a very simple example. I'll plug this into the laptop. I'll close the web browser. And if I look at device manager under keyboards, you'll notice there's something called an HID keyboard device. If I unplug that, that will disappear. Plug that in. Windows detects this as a human interface device. So it's a keyboard device. Now I'm running Windows 11 here. At the time of this recording, this is the latest version of Windows 11. So I've updated this computer to the latest release. So at the time of this recording, this was updated. Time right now, fully updated Windows 11. But what I can do now is on a phone, connect to the OMG cable. And I'll show you in this video how to program the OMG cable and how to flash it using the web flasher. So I'll select OMG. That's an access point running within this USB. And I keep saying USB cable because I'm used to the OMG cable but this is the OMG plug in this case. So I'm connecting to the OMG plug. MG has tested this at a mile away. So very long reach on these cables. Some people have complained in videos, but David, you connecting to this device in the same room, that's just for this demonstration, but it has been tested from up to a mile away. Now in a web browser, I'm gonna go to 192.168.4.1, which is a web server running on that cable. And what I'm gonna do now is load a script. In this case, I'll load it from slot one. Script has now been loaded. Now this script is available on payloads.hack5.org. All I did was search for OMG. Now you can specify the category to look for specific types of payloads. But all I did here was select this payload and I'm kind of giving it away what it does, but if you copy that, for instance, and go to GitHub, this is a simple prank payload. So let's see what it does. I'm gonna press run, and I'm not gonna to touch the computer at all or the phone. Phone is connecting via Wi-Fi to the plug. Something is happening now. What it's doing is setting up the volume, so the volume to 100%. Hello. What are you doing? Why are you using the computer? So there you go, very basic script. So what I did here was edit the script available on GitHub. So first thing is the script uses US. I've set this to use GB because this is a UK keyboard. I edited some of the speech as well. So rather than just a single string being sent to the computer and the computer saying that out aloud, I created three strings here. Hello, what are you doing? Why are you using the computer? So I could change that. So I could just say, but why? But why? And let's say done and run that again. So that should run that payload on the computer and there you go. It's setting the volume to 100%. Hello, what are you doing? By why? But why? 
Why are you using the computer? And um, yeah, typical phone. I made a typo there, so let's try that again. Say, but why, but why, and run that. This is a very basic script. There are lots of other scripts available on Hack5. Hello. What are you doing? But why? But why? Why are you using the computer? Okay, so going back to the Hack5 website, if I go to payloads.hack5.org, that will take you to this payloads website on Hack5. And then you could contribute or submit your own payloads if you want to. Or I could filter, let's say for USB rubber ducky, and specify the type of payload that I'm interested in. And that will simply filter the payloads. Or you could just search for all payloads of all devices. A whole bunch of payloads are available here for different types of devices. So just choose the device that you want, find the payload. Okay, so that was a very simple demonstration of an OMG plug with a script. Now the same thing applies for a device such as this. This is the OMG cable, and I've demonstrated this and other examples in other videos, which I'll link below. But that one has been programmed to use a different network. So I could connect to the FBI network. I'll go to the IP address 192.168.4.1. I'll load a payload from that cable, from slot one in this case. I'll press run to run the script. You can see PowerShell is starting. It's doing the same kind of thing. Hello, what are you doing? Why are you using the computer? Okay, so it did something there where the um, command wasn't accepted. It sent too many characters, but it still played the script. Not perfect, but it did work. Okay, so now I wanna show you the new flashing tool. What you do need is the OMG programmer. So you'll need to get a programmer and then you can plug it in and then plug it into the computer. And basically all you need to do is go to this website, OMG GitHub. IO Web Flasher. Now to make this easier for you, I've created a PowerPoint presentation. So you can download the PDF of this PowerPoint presentation below, which shows you step-by-step step how to set this up. So it contains information about the Flasher. It also shows you some additional steps that you may need to complete, including downloading some software. But let me show you the steps to set this up. So you go to the website, and then basically what you need to do is click continue, click connect. The OMG plug or OMG cable will show up here. If it doesn't, you'll need to download the software. They do tell you that in the show me how option. So we told if it doesn't show up, we need to download the required software. So click on the link there, click download and download the universal driver, for instance, for Windows or for Mac OS. That's once again, all documented in this PDF, which you can download using the link below. Okay, so once you've done that, I'll click continue again, click connect, select the OMG plug in this case, click connect. It connects to it to make sure that it's available. And then you simply click program and that's it. Once that finishes, we told what the default SSID is, which is O.mg. Password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This takes a little bit of time. Basically, all you need to do now is wait for it to complete. You can use this web flash with the OMG plug, as I'm demonstrating here, or you can use it with a OMG cable. Make sure that you get the right programmer. The newer programmers support USB-A as well as USB-C. So you may have to get one of the newer programmers if you've got a USB-C to USB-C cable, such as this example over here. So depending on which OMG cable you buy or if you buy an OMG plug, you need to make sure that you get the right programmer. Okay, and there you go, that's now completed. You're told once again, Wi-Fi, SSID and password. 
you're told how to connect to the plug or the cable. And you can get more information on the OMG GitHub page. Okay, so I'm hoping that shows you how easy it is to program one of the OMG plugs or OMG cables using the web flasher it makes it much, much easier than in the past. I'm hoping that you find it useful knowing about the payloads.hack5.org website. Lots of payloads that you can get there and copy and use with the Hack5 products. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. That really does help me with the YouTube robots and hopefully helps you know when I upload content that is valuable. I'm really hoping that you enjoyed this video. I'm David Bombal and I wanna wish you all the very best. Oh.